Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to figure out a position versus time graph and a velocity versus time graph for this situation here with the elevator. So this problem is interesting because a lot of it honestly is just using reasoning skills to figure out what's going on. It's not necessarily a calculations problem. So what I mean by that is they tell us that the entire trip takes 24 seconds. So we have 24 seconds and they say that the elevator stops for 10 seconds as Monica gets off. So minus 10 seconds. So that leaves 14 seconds where the elevator is actually moving. Now, if you think about it, they say that it went up five floors first. So we go up five floors. Monica gets off and then they say it goes back down two floors. So we go down two floors. And if we assume that the elevator was moving at as roughly in a constant velocity, there was 14 seconds that it was moving for a total of seven floors. So that means 14 divided by seven floors is it had to have been about two seconds per floor. So now that we have that information, now we can plot the position and the velocity versus time graphs. So we start out at zero, zero with zero seconds and we're at the ground floor. And then it goes up for five floors at two seconds per floor. That's going to be 10 seconds. And they say that it goes up a vertical rise of 20 meters. So we come up to 20 at 10 seconds. So right there is our first spot. Then they say we stop for 10 seconds, of course. So we have 15 and 20 for the 10 seconds pause for Monica to get off. And then they say that we go back down two floors. So we go down two, so that's gonna be four seconds to get us to the 24. But the floors, we don't know how high they are. When they say we went from zero up five floors, it was a total of 20 meters. So 20, of course, divided by five floors meters and floors gives us four meters per floor. So now when we go down two floors, now we went down eight. So we are at 20. So it goes down to about 12 at 24 seconds. So right about there. So now we can connect all the dots for our position versus time graph. All right, so there is that, the position versus time. So now we can come over to our velocity versus time graph. So we figured out that each floor is four meters and it takes about two seconds per floor. So if we have our velocity is equal to a change in distance over a change in time, we have four meters per floor divided by two seconds per floor gives us two meters per second per floor. So for the first 10 seconds, we're going to get the constant velocity, as we already said, of two meters per second. And then it stops for 10 seconds. So now we have a zero velocity for 10 seconds from 10 to 20. And then we're going down at the same velocity, but now we're going down so it's a negative velocity. So it's gonna be a negative two meters per second for the last four seconds. So now we have our position versus time graph here for the elevator, and this is the velocity versus time graph for the elevator here.